This tutorial explains how to list all functions and objects in a package in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the string R package that we can install and load with the lines two and three of the code. I have installed this package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with a library function as you can see in line three of the code. So after running this line of code, we have imported all the functions and objects that are contained in the string R package. Now let's assume that we want to create a list which contains all the functions and objects of this package. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line five. And in this line of code, I'm using the lsf.str function. And within this function, I'm specifying the name of our package. So in this case, I'm using the string R package. And in front of the package name, I'm specifying package. So if you run line five of the code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that a long list of functions and objects is returned. And you can also see that this list already shows what each of the function and object names contains. So for instance, the count function is a function that takes a string and a certain pattern. So in this first step, I have explained how to use the lsf.str function to return a list of functions and objects and their usage. However, we can also only return the function names as you can see in line seven of the code. And in this line of code, I'm using the ls function and within this function, I'm specifying the same input as in the previous code. So if you run line seven of the code, another list of function names is returned. And as you can see this time, we have only returned the names of the functions and objects, but not the usage of these functions. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.